Migrant groups have fired back at government plans to force new arrivals to live in regional areas across Victoria. Amid pressure to fix the city population squeeze, Malcolm Turnbull has confirmed he's considering changing migrant visa rules. Regional versus the city, it's a choice all Australians have, but not all migrants. My family came here about five years ago and we all been forced to live in Adelaide. The Iranian refugee was desperate to settle in Melbourne with relatives, instead sent to Adelaide, a classified regional area. I think everyone as human being, they got the right to decide where they can live and when they can find that place to love. But the government's now considering strengthening those laws even further, keeping migrants with regional visas in the bush for longer, amid fears too many are leaving early and moving to congested capitals. In the national interest of Australia and Australia alone, it's a recruitment exercise. Australia's population set to hit 25 million next month, over half of that growth's a result of migration. One new person arrives to live here every minute. Last year, almost 12,000 migrants filled skilled regional visas. That's 6% of the total intake. The government is in a position to offer visas on conditions. You can't legislate belonging and people thrive in a community when it feels like home. Labor says it will consider any plan the government puts forward but it won't support a policy which blames migrants for poor infrastructure planning. But Malcolm Turnbull says Bill Shorten's in no position to play the blame game. He had people coming in on 457 visas to work in Kentucky Fried and McDonald's. Elspeth Hussey, 7 News.